Welcome to week five of this week by week pregnancy series. Each week you can expect to hear about physical changes, psychological challenges, tips and experiences to help you along in your journey. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Belly Blossom. On this channel I help first time moms on their journey into motherhood. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and join this growing community of mothers-to-be. Having a positive pregnancy test is one of the most exciting and memorable moments of your life. Since you probably haven't shared the news with very many people, I am pleased to be one of the first to congratulate you. Your sweet little baby is already the size of an apple seed. From a poppy seed to an apple seed in just one week. How can they change so fast? The lifeline that is the placenta is already delivering nutrients and removing waste from your baby. This tiny little heart is already beating and the circulation of blood has begun. The neural tube, which consists of the brain, brainstem and spinal cord is already distinguishable. And towards the end of the week, four little buds will appear, which will develop into your baby's limbs. These next four weeks are the most critical for your baby's development because all of the main organs and structures begin to form. So it is extremely important to avoid environmental toxins called teratogens like radiation, chemicals, some drugs, alcohol, as well as infectious diseases. These toxins can interfere with cell division causing birth defects. If you want to learn more about teratogens, I'll list some links in the show notes below, so check there. Now that you're officially pregnant, here is a list of seven things that you need to do. Number one, book a prenatal appointment with your family doctor. Number two, take your prenatal vitamins, which includes folic acid, every single day. Number three, cut out deli meats and unpasteurized dairy as they can carry bacteria, which can be extremely harmful to you and your baby. Number four, be extremely cautious when handling raw meat, as it can also carry the same bacteria as deli meats. Number five, no x-rays for the next nine months until your baby is born. Number six, avoid raw fish and fish high in mercury. I have linked the list below. And number seven, do not touch cat poop and be very careful if you are handling birds because they carry a parasite called toxoplasmosis which can be passed on to your unborn baby. I don't want to scare you about all the things you shouldn't do. I just want you to have the healthiest pregnancy possible. There are a couple of psychological challenges I want to touch on in case you're going through them. The first being anxiety. Whether this pregnancy is planned or unplanned, it's common to have some anxiety about the future. Raising a child can be expensive. You need space for them, as well as you need to think about childcare and maternity leave. These thoughts are very common, and it's important to start making a plan now of how to handle your expenses in the future. A good tip that I have is use these next nine months to save up as much money as you can. Each month, create a budget and set money aside just for baby. Another psychological challenge that you may be going through is that you're so excited, you're bursting with joy and you want to tell the whole world, but I caution you to keep this news to yourself until you've reached the 12 week mark. The highest chance of miscarriage is within the first 12 weeks. And if you tell a lot of people and something happens, then you have to explain yourself over and over to the people that you've told. This can be extremely hard on you and your partner. So try and keep the excitement between you and your partner. And at that 12 week mark, you can tell the world. And by that time, you will have probably had an early ultrasound so you can share this first little picture with whomever you want. There are so many wonderful things to look forward to and I can't wait to get into the next few weeks with you. I hope you found this information helpful and if you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week on The Belly Blossom.